In my last video, we stopped here and we found that this answer was not right from the graphic calculator. And that's why the graphic calculator is such a wonderful tool to check your answers. So I realized I made a mistake and hopefully you should have seen that mistake. Okay. And the mistake was this zero. I thought when I put this zero, I didn't consider the four. I forgot the four. So I will delete that and I'll write. So this is 215 times. When I put one, you get nine. Uh, so let me put uh, this whole 215 can be factored out. Okay, so 215 is a constant. So I'm going to take the 215 out minus. Then I put zero here. Yeah? This will become four to the power three halves. Okay, so let me factor out the 2 15th. So this will become 2 15th of 9 to the power 1.5 minus 4 to the power 1.5. So let us do a little more simplification. Let me cancel this. So this is 2 15th. I think we can do the this we can do on a calculator. So first, uh, menu run. So we had. Let me move this slightly. So let me see what's that. Nine point nine to the power. So it is nine raised to one point five minus four raised to one point five. Am I right? Yeah, that's nineteen. So this is 19, and 2, 15 times 19, which is 38 out of 15, which is, again, I need a calculator, menu run, that is 38 divided by 15, which is 2 point, this is what we got. But I'll show you on the graphic calculator, 2.53 recurring. So my answer is, 2.53 recurring. So, again going to the calculator, the function was square root of 5x plus 4. So, this is this area. Now, uh, I didn't explain why we took, now uh, just for explaining. Now, what we are doing is, we are considering, we consider, imagine this a small rectangle. Okay, my rectangle is horrible. So let me delete that. So what I mean is, suppose you have, this is your, this is your curve, and imagine that you have a rectangle, okay, which is infinitely thin. Imagine this is a rectangle. Imagine this is a rectangle, okay, and this is infinitely thin. And the width is dx. The width is dx. And if and the length, okay, your height is your y. So if you want to find the area of this rectangle, is base times height, isn't it? The area of a rectangle is base times height. Your base is dx, and your height is y. So this is your y, which is your uh, which is your height, and this is your uh, width. Okay, so y is your height, and your dx is your width. And when you're integrating from 0 to 1, we are adding all the infinitely small rectangles from 0 to 1. That's what we do by integration. So this is, if you understand the intuition, you can always do the example. So this is your width, and this is your height, or this is your base width, or you can also say this is your base. Area of a rectangle is base times height, or width, width times height. So this is your width and this is your height. And we are finding, adding up all the infinite rectangles from 0 to 1. And that's why we give the limit from 0 to 1. So that's what the calculator does. It adds up all the rectangles from 0 to 1. So let me show you. So menu, and if you go to graph, so shift square root of 5x plus 4. 
oh, sorry, 5x plus 4. Let me delete the 5 and let us draw it. So this is a graph, okay? And you want to find the area. So this is integration of dx. And we are saying this is your lower bound. So you go execute. And now they're asking you what's your upper bound. So you scroll to 1. It's really amazing. So this will shade that area. Can you see what it's doing? It's adding up all the infinite rectangles from 0 to 1. And the area is 2.533. And that's what we got. Okay, let us do one more example. Here the question is, let me use a thinner pen. So this is too thick for me. So this is good. Let me use this color today. So the equation of the curve is y is equal to 8x minus x squared. You want to write this in, the, in this form. So I'm going to write y is equal to 8x minus x squared. I hope you know how to complete square. So this is a constant and this is also a constant. So basically this is called the vertex form. So we want to write this in the vertex form. So this I can write. So this can I write is, I'll not put a blank here, minus x squared plus 8x. Okay. I'll show you why I put a blank there. So this is if I factor out the minus out, I think that is because to get this minus, can I write x squared minus 8x? And again, I'll leave a gap here. So this is equal to dash minus. I want to complete squares. If you remember, you have to half this, which is negative 4, and then square it. So that is x squared minus 8x plus 16. Okay, so to make it a perfect square, I have, this is minus 16. So to get rid of this minus 16, I have to add 16. So let me use a different color there. So this is 16, minus 16 gets cancelled. Okay, so I can write a 16 here, I can write a 16 here. So I'll use a blue now. So you can write, if you write 16 here, you can also write a 16 here. Uh, this is minus 16, sorry. So this is minus, this is minus times x squared is minus x squared, minus times, this is minus 16. Can you see plus 16 and minus 16 gets cancelled. So this is, becomes y is equal to 16 minus x minus 4 the whole squared. I want to write in plus form, so let me scroll down. So this is y is equal to 16 minus x plus negative 4 squared. So we have compared, written in this form. So when you, if you compare this with this, I can say a is 16, that's right, and b is negative 4. Now this is a vertex form, so let us look at one more question. Hence or otherwise, find the coordinate of the stationary point of the curve. Now, if you want to graph this, this is a, let me write this. So this is y is equal to 8x minus x squared. So if you factorize this, so this is x times 8 minus x. So this is a parabola. So the x-intercepts is when you set y is equal to 0. You get x-intercept by setting y is equal to 0. So I can say 0 is equal to x times 8 minus x. So I can use your logic. When would this become 0? When this is 0 or this is x is equal to 8. So x is 0 or x is equal to 8. Okay. Now this form is also called the vertex form. Now this is nothing but a parabola, the basic parabola, which is upside down. If you want to write this like this, this is minus x minus 4 squared plus 16. Now if this is called the vertex form of the vertex form, 
Now, by just looking at this, I can say the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has moved 4 to the right and 16 up. Okay. Now, okay, so let me, so you can understand the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Okay, so let me write y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Okay. So basically, if you don't want to do any of this, by just looking at this, I can say this is, where did we go? Let me go up. Oh, let me, okay, yeah. By just looking at this, this is the vertex form. So can I say that the vertex is 4, 16? I'll draw a sketch so that you understand what we are doing. So if you want to draw a sketch of this, of this parabola, it will, this is my y-axis, this is my x-axis. So this is my y and this is my x. So the x-intercepts, the x-intercepts are 0, the x-intercepts are 0 and 8. Okay? And the y, this is your vertex. So the parabola would look like this. This is only a sketch, something like this, okay? This is a very poor parabola. So this is your vertex. This vertex, this is the vertex, which is 4, comma 16. So this point is not drawn to scale, just to explain. And the y-intercept would be 0. So the question is, what is the stationary point, okay? The stationary point is the turning point here. So the coordinates of the turning point is, the answer would be 4, 16. See you in the next video. Thank you.